Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, we find out what happens to this huge bag. Okay, it's been five minutes. So we'll stop the washer and let's see what we've got. Okay. You can still see some of the stitches and the bag is still too big but you can already see the shrinkage. So what we're going to do is put it back into this uh, mesh bag, zip it up again, put it on uh, another few more minutes in the wash, and repeat that until we're satisfied with what it looks like. Turn the wash cycle on again for a few minutes more. Start it up again. We'll come back in a few more minutes. Ah, it's much smaller now. It's almost there, almost there. It's a good size, but I think it could go a little bit smaller. Okay, let's see what we get. I think it's perfect now. It's perfect. The straps felt it a little bit more, so you don't see the stitches on the strap anymore, and it's a good size. Now, if you've used the rinse-free wool wash, you won't need to rinse it, otherwise you'll have to put it in a cold rinse. So then we take, squeeze a little bit more out. Then we take, our good thirsty towel and we'll uh, put the item on the towel and roll it up a bit to squeeze some of the water out. That's really hard so you can get some of the water out. Okay, let's take a good look at it. Looks pretty cool. Now we're going to go and block it. So the first thing we're going to do here is pull out the cotton thread that we use to hold it down during the felting process. So I'm going to dry the bag upside down and a few inches off the table so it doesn't sit in dripping water and take longer to dry. Now this bag has a flat bottom I'll use some boxes to keep it flat. I'll wrap the box in a plastic bag so it doesn't get wet. And I'll use some extra bags to give it some shape. Just really stretch it out. Pull, stretch, pull really hard and shape it the way you want it. Then leave it for a few days to dry. Now the top is dry, but this is still damp. 
while it's drying, you can stretch it out and still shape it if it's not the shape that you want. Well, it's all dry. If there are loose fibers, try using a disposable razor lightly along the surface to remove the fuzzies. It also helps to sharpen up the color. Okay, so here it is. What do you think? I've sewn on a button, and I'm considering using the felted swatch as a pocket, but I'm not sure yet. Let me know what you think about that. I could add a lining, but you know me. I hate to sew, so no lining for this bag. This great book, Personalities, from Eva Weichman, got me hooked on felted bags. Plus, there's a sequel. In each of these books, there are some really great designs with different shapes and sizes and different embellishments. They're knitted on big needles with bulky weight yarn, so they knit up really fast. So check out these two books. We're thinking about adding a new show and tell segment. If you've knitted something using ideas from our show, email us a picture of yourself with your knitting. We'll put the pictures together and show them in future episodes. Email them to cat at letsknittogether.com. We now have a forum. You can chat about knitting and get to know other people who watch the show. Everyone who signs up will get an email when a new episode is available. Finally, thanks to Susie, Robert, Vanessa, and Maya, Freddie, Cat Mom, Shorty, and everyone else. We really appreciate the great feedback. Bye. See you next time.